10 trading indicators that every trader should know. Best trading indicators, moving average, exponential moving average, one and two. All right, let's talk about them. People, and oftentimes people that are trying to sell you something, love to say things like, Trading isn't as easy as just buying when you close over the simple moving average and selling when you get back below that simple moving average. They love to overcomplicate trading, make it seem like you need all these variables to be profitable in this game. But sometimes it really is that easy. This strategy is literally just entering when the ticker crosses above the 200 simple moving average and selling when it crosses back below. And you can see its performance on the floating PL study down here on the SPY daily, on the NVIDIA daily is a really fun one to look at. But um, even if we go look at like the block daily, not a stock that's just uber strong, this one was, and then it died really hard, you can still see the results. I mean, let's go look at something like AMC. AMC obviously went crazy and then was awful, and you're still up $125,000 on this stock. So that helps showcase to you the power of even just one simple moving average. And throughout the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about multiple different trade theories that can be used surrounding the moving average study, right? And I'm going to show you the ThinkScript code that I am using to reference each and every theory that we're talking about. So if you're using Thinkorswim, you're going to be able to copy my codes exactly from this video. And if you're not using Thinkorswim, you're still going to get a load of awesome trade theory talk. There's still going to be a lot of value for you in this video. Hit the like button and I'll jump into it. At the beginning of this video, I showed you this webpage that I found with the top 10 best trading indicators. I don't know who came up with this. I don't know what this website is, but it notices a moving average and an exponential moving average. And I just want to take a second to talk about the differences there. So on my strategy that I coded a uh, very, very simple, just above the 200 simple moving average, I also within the strategy itself, I plot the moving average so that I I don't have to have a separate study turned on, right? Which is really nice. But if I come in and I create another plot, we're going to call this one SMA. And then I just make this the average. I'm just going to make it the average of the closing price of the last 200 bars. If I hit apply, you're going to notice nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Because if I come up and I comment out this and I go ahead and, oh, it's, I'm using it down here one second. Let's go ahead and use the average here. Um, if I go ahead and comment out my simple moving average actual function that I'm calling, now you're just going to be seeing this average close of the last 200 bars. Guess what? Nothing changes because that's all the simple moving average is. It's literally just the average of the closing price over X number of bars back, right? That's all the SMA is doing. It's very, very easy, not too hard to understand. Now, if I were to plot a, let's do this real quick. Let's plot an EMA, an exponential moving average. If I go ahead and plot an EMA as moving average exponential, it is called, and then we set this equal to a length of 200, you will now notice a new line pop up because the moving average exponential is a different calculation, obviously, than just the simple moving average. The moving average exponential, what this is doing, it's giving a weight to the most recent bar. So it is giving a weight of 200 to yesterday's bar, right? Then a weight of 199 to the previous day, 198 to the previous day, 197 to the previous day, all the way down to the beginning of its length. It's giving more value to what is recently happening rather than just literally being the straight average price. That's the difference between the SMA and the EMA as they will be referred to in the rest of this video. Hey, if you're interested in any of this automated strategies and studies that I'm creating, I have over 50 of them available on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. And not only for Thinkorswim, there is also strategies and studies on TradingView in there that anybody using any platform can load onto a TradingView chart within their browser. Daytradingstrategies.net, link at the top of the description. 
you should definitely go check it out. All right, so I've simplified the code back down to how it was in the first clip of this video when it's literally just the 200 simple moving average, buy when the close is above that, sell when the close is below it. That was our first trade theory, obviously very low level, very simple, but you still saw some of the impact of it when used in the right situations, right? Well, now let's come in and let's plot an MA2 and I'm gonna plot once again, we're just gonna use another simple moving average for this. You can use, if you would like to use exponential, We'll test that by all means do so, but I'm going to create a 50. Well, let's create a 100, whatever. Uh, I'm going to create a 100 simple length moving average that also plots. So if I hit apply, you will now notice a 200 and then the salmon colored line being your 100 SMA on the chart, right? I'm going to change the buy condition to be um, here. Let me do this. Instead of close, I'm going to be the buy condition is MA2 is greater than MA1 and the sell condition is MA2 is less than MA1. So what we're doing here is we're talking about moving average crossovers. We're talking about a shorter length moving average, so a faster reacting moving average to what the current price is doing, crossing above or below a slower reacting longer length moving average. If I go ahead and hit apply, let's go ahead and click around some tickers and see how this is performing. Actually on AMC, much worse. AMC is a ridiculous move. I mean, you, you're, you're not going to be trading stocks that do what AMC did very often, if honestly ever. Um, so we don't need to spend too much time analyzing this chart, but let's go look at spy, um, spy up over, you know, up over, uh, what is this? Is that 83,000, 74,000 up over on spy. And you can see, of course, once again, by the plot, um, where it's getting out and, and, not only am I making this video like for strategies, like, oh, look at how you can use the simple moving averages to trade, but also look at how well of a trend identifier it is. Like, look at where it's stopping you out on SPY here and then where it's getting you back in. It's going, okay, hey, the moving averages have crossed. The trend is now back up. We're coming out of the bear market. And it pretty well freaking nailed that right? It pretty well nailed that, that trend reversal has started and it's carried up here. So not only like, should you just take these ideas I'm talking about and go try to trade like that, but hopefully in any video I make, it just helps give you ideas for things that you can then implement into your own systems, right? Um, if we go look at NVIDIA, NVIDIA is always just a fun one to look at. You can code any strategy and go look at NVIDIA and you're going to be up a ton of money. But once again, I love to look at block because block is a good example of a little bit of everything, you know, consolidation, move up, strong, move up, strong, move down, consolidation, move down. I like to look at this chart for how my strategies perform. And this one did very well. Once again, it took a little bit long uh, to maybe decide that this is in downtrend. This was such a harsh move down. Maybe took a little bit too long to recognize that, but um, something you can then do. And the beauty, the absolute beauty of code is you can come in and you can change this. Let's try 150 instead of 200 and 100. Look at how much kind of quicker it recognizes the downturn now. Now you're also getting stopped out faster in other areas, but Look at how quickly now we can now run multiple like thousands of different trade test runs just in a second, just by just by changing a button, like how much different the charts look now. Actually, that AMC chart looked a lot better too. And that's the beauty of code, how quickly you can just change your parameters, jump in and run. I mean, this, this would be a back test that if you wanted to test this versus what we were looking at before would take you four five, six more hours to do, but we did it immediately with code. That's why code so important. That's why I have my website daytradingstrategies.net to try to provide you all with the foundation for building these kind of codes to help improve your trading. Once again, check it out. All right. So we've covered two trade theories, the two very most common trade theories using moving averages. I've described to you the difference between simple moving average and exponential moving average. And I showed you multiple different use cases of how you can implement moving average into scripting, into coding, so that you can automate both your plots for studies and your entrances for orders. I have a couple, actually, I say a couple, a, a handful of my strategies and indicators over on day trading strategies.net make use of moving averages. So when you go over there and check out the code, you will notice this. And now you will have an idea of how you can jump into the code and manipulate a lot of the code for yourself to make it fit your own strategies, right? So once again, daytradingstrategies.net, 
Those of you guys that make it to the end of the video, I like to celebrate you guys. I like to say you guys are the ones that have the best chance to make it. You're taking your studying seriously if you're watching these videos all the way through. So if you use discount code END on the checkout of daytradingstrategies.net, you're going to get your first month for only $15, which is ridiculous value for how many codes you get. So once again, link in the top of the description, discount code END. We'll see y'all over there. Like, subscribe. And that's going to do it for this video. But on the outro, I will link you all to one of my custom studies that I've created. So if you're interested in diving more into ThinkScript coding, check out that video next. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. 